Hello, dear Water Polo fans. Welcome once again to the April 11th pool here in Belgrade. And the second match today. This is actually day number three, uh, the LAN Champions League final tournament. The classification match for the fifth and sixth place between Olympiakos of Greece and Ferenc Maros of Hungary. It's uh, actually raining heavily in Belgrade, unfortunately, but uh, we'll have, of course, the last match despite that. Today, this is the team arrival. First Olympiakos and now how Ferenc Varos arrived to the pool. And the head coach, Jord Varga, who has his last match in charge with Ferenc Varos. His assistant coach, Balazs Nieki, will be his successor. The two referees, Wojan Wojan Putikovic from Serbia and David Gomez from Spain. So everyone is ready for the classification match for the fifth place. That could be also an emotional moment for Jolt Varga, the head coach of Ferenc Varos. Officially his last match on the bench of uh, the Hungarian team. Here's a team list of Olympiakos, so Yanis Futulis also included in the squad after yesterday's uh, injury. Vamos and Futulis against uh, their former teams. Here's Igor Milanovic, the former Olympic champion, the coach of Olympiakos. Olympiakos uh, returned to the final tournament after missing last year's competition here. Now they are aiming to clinch spot number five. Here's the team list of Ferenc Varos. And Stylianos Argyropoulos also there. And here's Jolt Varga. He had uh, actually a kind of a farewell match uh, on the Margaret Island a couple of weeks ago, the last group match of the Champions League for Ferenc Varos against Sabadei. That was his uh, last match in Hungary. And the bench of Ferenc Varos. Now the moment has come. This is his very last match in charge. Um, I think it's always so important uh, defense. This is the first thing uh, that we have to do really well because I think it's Olympiakos uh, in this year a really, really hard, really heavy, really good team. Um, I could wait them also for the finals. Um, and then now we play with them. I think it will be a really tough game. Ferenc Varos, of course, uh, finished on the podium in the last three editions of the final eight, winning the championship title, the Champions League title, actually, in 2019 in Hanover. Finishing as silver medalist, losing to Rekko in the final two years ago here in Belgrade, and last year they finished third, defeating Brescia in the bronze medal match. So Konstantinos Genidunias and Dinesh Varga keeping the team talks. That's a free throw. And already goal number one, only 16 seconds into this match and Olympiakos take the lead thanks to the goal of Filip Filipovic. So Shoma Fogel already beaten, he had a slight touch that didn't turn to be enough to make the save. So the Serb, Filip Filipovic, takes the lead for Olympiakos for the joy of the pre supporters. Seven seconds on the shot clock. And the one-timer, and there's the equalizer. Great power play by Ferenc Varos and Viktor Vadovic finds the back of the net. Well, on the first day it was Zoltan Paul who played in the number three cap of Ferenc Varos yesterday. Viktor Vadovic replaced him and he remained in the squad. And he broke the deadlock for Ferenc Varos. The chance to take the lead for the first time in this match and Dinesh Varga is pushing forward. Still Varga. Will he finish this offensive play? Yes! The answer is yes. And the captain 
take the lead for Ferenc Varos. They turn the score. Great fans from both sides. On the stands. That's a cool finish by Varga. Regarding the offensive play on the first day of this tournament, Ferenc Varos had uh, some difficulties. Only a 12.9% shot efficiency against Rekko. Argyropoulos is left behind. An illusion. So an excellent advantage for Olympiakos and they take advantage of that immediately. And the goal scorer Marton Vamos against his uh, former team. 55 seconds to go in the first quarter. That's a cool finish by the Hungarian. That was his uh, second attempt and his first goal. And actually, he scored three times against the Novi Belgrad on Wednesday, twice yesterday against Hugh. Goal number six in the tournament, in the final tournament. Four seconds to go, maybe one more attempt. And the ball is inside in the very last second of this quarter. And the former Olympiakos player Stylianos Argyropoulos makes it 3 2 for Ferenc Varos. Excellent shot by Argyropoulos. The end of first quarter. Seven seconds down the shot clock, there Bissis gets it back. And he scores! And Olympiakos desperately needed that. Their first goal in the second quarter. Actually, this is the first goal in the second period at all. The third goal for Olympiakos, player number seven, Devisis Jorgos. So this time, Shoma Fogel beaten for the first time in this match. That's an action shot goal. And the Greek fans are celebrating uh, this. And the fans break chance for Olympiakos. And they score. Could have been 4 feet for Ferenc Varos. But uh, from that counter attack, Olympiakos, the team who managed to score. And Marton Vamos scores his second against his uh, former team. So now Olympiakos turned the score. Dunias, Dervisis, four seconds on the shot clock, one more pass, and the great move with just one second, one single second remaining on the shot clock. The center forward, Konstantinos Murikis, manages to beat Shoma Fogel. Four years of age, the veteran center forward Murikis, Olympic silver medalist. And now the five meter penalty for Olympiakos. Yeah, the fake attack committing the penalty foul. What a chance to. Take a free goal lead for the first time for the Greek champion. And they score. Olympiakos six, Ferenc Varos three. And another former Ferenc Varos player, Ioannis Futulis, converts the penalty. 
Six for Kuradiakos, player number five for Tunis Janus. He was player of the Hungarian team from 2019 until 2021. Played in the Champions League final against uh, Brodeco two years ago here in Belgrade. Alassasiu, Geridunias, and he scores. That's an action goal for the Greeks. They extend the lead. Now it's a four goal gap in favor of Olympiakos. Seven goal for Olympiakos, player number four, Gerudinas Konstantinos. No chance at all for Shoma Fogel. It's six on six already, but still a chance for the Greeks to score. Gilas, a low pass, and they score. Eight three. Remember, it was 3-2 for Ferenc Varos the end of the first quarter. But still all even at halftime, three goals apiece. But since the end of the first period, it's been all about Olympiakos. Bekete. And the bad pass. Anto Vamos is not a Ferenc Varos player anymore. Geri Dunias. Shot from this tense, and Fogel is beaten once again. An all increasing lead. And the seventh consecutive goal for Olympiakos. So, Captain Konstantinos uh, Genidunias with goal number two to his name. Anto Vamos and Gendunias scoring twice. They are the top scorers at the moment. Argyropoulos gets the call. Oh! How about that, ladies and gentlemen? A backhand shot goal from this uh, free throw. That was all for nothing. And a spectacular goal. Lianos Argyropoulos. That was a real beauty. That was like uh, Attila Vari in the 2000 Olympic final against uh, Russia. Damonte. Fekete. Uh, Eric Molnar didn't manage to catch the ball. In the last 15 seconds, the Greek players and also the fans are already celebrating at the bench and on the stands. So Olympiakos, after being defeated by Novi Belgrad on the first day here in the final tournament, winning their second consecutive match, 14 to 5 yesterday against Yuk Dubrovnik, and now in the classification match, the final score 9 4 for the Greeks. So Ferenc Varos uh, only managed to score once in the second, third and fourth quarter of the match. And that turned to be decisive. So let's check the full-time statistics. Uh, in the end, only a 15% shot efficiency for the Hungarian champion, 32% for Olympiakos, and uh, plenty of uh, missed extra player situations by the Hungarians, I have to say. Total of 17 personal fouls, 10 steals. Look at that by the Greeks. Three blocks each. And let's check the top scorers of the match. Maton Vamos, the former Ferenc Varos player, as well as Gany Dunias and Argyropoulos, the former Olympiakos player, scoring twice. Perhaps your favorite game from Ferenc Varos. You imagined a little bit different. For eight minutes, it looked like. Any other game, it was fine, but then somehow it, it, it went away. What happened in that 21 minutes? 
when the team couldn't score. <clears throat> um, uh, first of all, congratulations for Olympiakos uh, because they played the last two quarters really good. Uh, I think with the first first two quarters we we start the game I think really well, good defense. Uh, okay, not so uh, not so precisely in attack, but it was good. It was three to. Uh, to, to, uh, for, for us and it was we led the game and then step by step uh, we lost the control of the game and then at the end uh, I saw the, the really that uh, that we uh, we left uh, without belief that we can do, do today uh, somehow all the all the, the, the possibilities uh, they, they went wrong and then we we shoot we missed everything and after that step by step I think this arrived also the, the tiredness also the, the physically you know the sensation after the three game Today was better uh, better than us, uh, Olympiakos. Thank you. Thank you.